Happy Thanksgiving to everyone listening to this special episode around Thanksgiving. This is your host, Mark Medley, and this is The Mark Medley Show, a podcast that is heard on all major podcast platforms or distribution sites. Again, happy Thanksgiving to you, and thank you so much for listening. If you're a first-time listener, thank you. If you've listened continuously throughout the year, thank you. I cannot convey how much I appreciate you. And that's what today is all about. It's about Thanksgiving, and it is one of my favorite holidays in the year. Not just because it's a holiday or we have time off. Or even the fact that we have the opportunity to spend time with friends and family. It's one of my favorite holidays because it is the time where we pause to officially give thanks. Now, truth be told, I don't need one day throughout the 365 to be grateful and thankful. I am grateful every day. All 365 or 366 or whatever the calendar day may be, whether it's a leap year or not or whatever. I am thankful every day because we don't have to be in that day. We could be gone. Life could be gone. And it's gone in a nanosecond. Truth be told, for those of you who are listening, and even for myself, we never know when this is going to be the last Thanksgiving that we get together. There were folks who were here last Thanksgiving who in between last Thanksgiving and today passed away. There were some that got even to this morning. There were some who made it to yesterday and passed overnight. Didn't make it to another Thanksgiving. They made it 364 days between last Thanksgiving and this Thanksgiving, but did not make today. So if nothing else, The fact that you still have breath in your body, the fact that you can still move, whether it's a portion of movement or full movement, if you have any movement at all, it's cause for us to be grateful and thankful. If you are breathing, it's cause for us to be thankful. There are some people who are just so grumpy, just so bitter, just so evil that they seem like they can't be thankful for anything and there are folks around the world who if they had the opportunity to trade places with us even for what meager items we think we have they would trade in a nanosecond we complain because we don't have the latest Jordans or latest pair of sneakers or the latest car but the truth is again we have a roof over our head We have food on the table. We have clothes on our backs. Many of us have a car. We have a job. We have some money. It may not be much, but we have some. So when you compare and contrast it to those who have nothing or those who have lost everything, because in between last Thanksgiving and this Thanksgiving, we were hit with multiple storms. Multiple hurricanes and tornadoes and earthquakes. Folks who had lost. Folks who had everything lost everything. And they're in the process of trying to rebuild. And so I bet you that whatever you're complaining about that you think you don't have, if they had the opportunity to get what you have, they would take it. And they would be happy for it. A lot of times people ask me, how are you doing? And I say, I won't complain. I'm not going to complain. And they say, yeah, that's right, because complaining doesn't change anything. And, And for the most part, it doesn't. And my comeback to that is always, I don't complain because I may need that last breath one day. In my mind, complaining is a waste of breath. Now, that's not to say folks don't get frustrated, because I can tell you right now, I get frustrated. There are a lot of things that frustrate me. There's a lot of things that frustrate me on my job. There's some things that frustrate me at home. There's some things that frustrate me in life in general. There's some things that frustrate me in the world or just looking at the way things are going in the United States with how we're being led in Washington. So I'm not saying we don't get frustrated. But I am saying we need to be grateful. We need to be grateful even for the frustration, even for the fact that we can feel frustrated. We ought to be grateful for that. 
because there were some folks who were not in their right mind who don't even have the wherewithal or the sense to be frustrated. There are folks who are suffering with dementia, folks who are suffering with Alzheimer's that don't even know they need to be frustrated. They're constantly repeating themselves because their mind is gone. So if you still have your right mind, that is something to be thankful for. I was talking to my daughter the other night and she was telling me about friends that she has in their early 20s. One committed suicide. Another one was killed by a drunk driver. A young lady friend of hers was killed earlier this year in a motorcycle accident so as I said they were here last Thanksgiving and now today they're not one of the staff members in the school and where I teach she lost her husband this past weekend he was here last Thanksgiving and now he's not another staff member I was talking to was sharing with me how her brother has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and it's metastasized into his lungs so the doctors have already told him he has very limited time left but she shared with me how he was not in any pain and he was thankful and grateful for that she was thankful that he was not in pain knowing that this is going to be their last Thanksgiving together their family members are coming together from around the world to share with him knowing that this is going to be his last Thanksgiving barring a miracle and even with that she was sharing with me how thankful she was that he was not in pain you see there is always something to be grateful and thankful for that's why I don't understand why for some people it's so hard to say thank you why for some people it's so hard to be grateful why for some people it's so hard to just give thanks now we have a situation going on now where the president where Donald Trump was instrumental in the release of some boys that were over in China doing something they had no business doing they had no business trying to shoplift or steal because as we go into different countries the rules change every country is not quite as lenient as the United States they don't follow the same judicial process as the United States so we caution people when you go overseas when you go to different countries don't do some of the things you might think you can do in the US in those countries well these boys did that they were in there shoplifting got caught and was sentenced to a lengthy jail term the president of the United States Donald Trump had some discussions according to him and lo and behold the boys were released now there's a whole big controversy because one of the boys father for whatever reason didn't say thank you to the president now I kinda understand it to a degree but to me a simple thank you was in order why he couldn't say thank you Mr. Trump or what have you for whatever you did is beyond me and now it's a big controversy that's all over social media and all in the news and of course the president reverted back to his usual childish self and got into a social media battle of name calling so forth and so on to be honest with you that was not necessary because he did for once do a good deed so whether he was thanked or not really should not be the motivation of the deed but I understand where he's coming from I don't understand that young man's father because whether he means it or not in all honesty thanks should be sincere but if nothing else he should be able to say thank you for the fact that the president did get the boys released whatever role he played whether it was commentary with the Chinese president whether it was a discussion whatever it might have been it still was worthy of saying thank you so this is one time I don't agree with the president's name calling but this is one time I do have to side with Trump in terms of it a thank you was in order and that's all I'm gonna say on that there is nothing wrong with giving thanks there's nothing wrong with being grateful if it's one thing and I don't use the word hate often but if it's one thing I can truly tell you that I hate and that is an ingrate because when people are being nice they don't have to be nice to you so the least that you can say when someone is nice to you is thank you ah there's no words in the English English language to me that comes together sweeter than the words thank you oh to hear a child say thank you I had two children come to me the other day and ask me Mr. Medley can you help me zip my coat they were second and third graders so I understood can you help me zip my coat and once I helped them zip their coat they looked at me and said thank you you don't know what that did to my heart to hear those children say thank you on days when I get frustrated in the school and wonder why am I there a child could say something like thank you or please and it will turn my whole spirit around it will remind me why I'm in education 
But again, those two children, they were about to go outside on the playground and it was a little nippy out. It was a little cold out and they were struggling getting their zipper up on their jacket. And they asked me nicely, Mr. Medley, would you help me zip my coat? And as I did that and we got the zipper to the top, they said, thank you. And that melted my heart. Oh, we just don't know when we tell someone thank you, regardless of how small of the task, regardless of how small the deed, to tell someone thank you, it does something for you and it does something for them. I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction. I'm a firm believer in what goes around comes around. So the more grateful you are, the more people are going to be grateful for you. The more you give, the more that will be given back to you. So let's get out there. It's Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. But take some time to thank God. For me, it's God. For you, it may be something else. But for me, I thank God. Nobody's going to convince me of you and tell me anything different. You believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. So I thank God. But if you want to thank the universe, if you want to thank the man upstairs, if you want to thank, but thank somebody. Thank your parents for birthing you. If they're still around, just thank them. Thank your brothers and sisters. Thank your cousins. Just thank life rather than constantly whining, complaining about what you don't have. Because we put too much focus and effort on what we don't have instead of taking a look and focusing on what we do have. Because we have much in comparison to folks who are around the world, in comparison to some third world countries. Right now in comparison to Puerto Rico, who for some parts are still out of electricity, are still out of lights, still out of water. We have a lot in comparison to some folks right now still in the Houston, Texas area who was slammed by that storm. We have a lot in comparison to some folks in Mexico who were hit by the earthquake. So when you start comparing what you have and you don't have, I would bet that what you do have outweighs what you don't have. That's all the more reason for us to be grateful and thankful because, again, the truth of the matter is the things that we do have can be taken away in seconds. Something that takes years to build, God can wipe out in seconds. Something that took 20, 30 years to put in place can be wiped out within two minutes in a bad storm. So if you have something, be grateful for whatever it is, because it's not always going to be there. As I said, we don't know if this is going to be the last Thanksgiving that we get to spend with loved ones. We don't know if we're going to make it to Christmas and have an opportunity to spend time with loved ones there as well or New Year's. So be grateful and thankful for the moment. Yes, there were some good days. And yes, this is a good day and there are more good days to come. But be grateful and thankful for the moment that you're in right now now with that being said i again i am grateful and thankful for you listening please make sure you comment like follow all of those things on the various sites subscribe it's on apple podcasts itunes tune in apple music google play music stitcher spreaker <laughs> It's on the major sites, and I do ask that you please comment, follow, rate, any of those things. And then you can hear me live each Saturday morning as I host my radio show on WP88.7 FM and GoBrave.org. Again, I web stream around the world on GoBrave.org. That's G-O-B-R-A-V-E dot org, O-R-G. And it's on FM radio in the northern New Jersey area on 88.7 FM. That's Saturday morning, 6 a.m. Eastern time. You can catch me live. I thank you. Have a wonderful day. And we'll be together again at some point.